Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Low Chill 2 k here, back again with another banger, man. Today, I'm gonna be bringing y'all the most comp, team-oriented post score in 2K21 current gen, y'all. And this build, you get driving contact dunks, you get standing contact dunks, you get a 95 post hook. You can shoot post fades. You still have good defense. And you can do plenty of post moves. So let's just get right into it. And you want to go power forward. I know most, all the post scores are 6'10. I mean, not 6'10. They're all like 7'3 centers. But no, we're going to power forward. And we're going to go with the pure blue pie chart. And yes, before y'all ask, I did get this from Joe Nose. I just made a couple of tweaks to make it the way I wanted to make it. But yeah, I saw Joe Nose video and I was like, okay, I see what he's doing with this. Let me see how I can tweak it to my play style. And his build, the reason I'm making this build is because it's already a team oriented build the way he makes it. But I'm going to show y'all right now how to make it really good. So you want to go with the balanced pie chart. If you wanted to, you could go with this one, this one, this one, whichever. But then it wouldn't be balanced. In all honesty, it wouldn't. It really wouldn't be balanced. Like you could go with this, it, it just wouldn't. Or you could go with the um the balance, which is the best pie chart for this build to me. And what you want to do? Max this out. Max this out. Max this out. Oh, wait, no, not those. <laughs> But max these out if you want to you can max this out so you can shoot the midi but don't i wouldn't do that and then this you want to max this out to 72 and then drive and lay up to 85 now for shooting just max this out take it to 75 and max this out so that way you can get six shooting badges playmaking boom and boom so you get 16 now for the defense boom 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 and now you got a 36 16 and 10 and if you want to you can just mess around with these last two badge points you could put it up like this if you want to I'm gonna go with 40 and then 4 D3 because I want to have at least a little bit of defense like perimeter defense I mean I already know it's gonna go right back down but at least it's not gonna go back too much so now I'm going to go with defined. I'm going to go 6, 10. If you want, you can go 6, 11, but then you're going to get get contact dunks off of it. So I'm going to go 6, 10. And you're going to go this weight right here. Wait, no, you're not. You're going to go 246 and max wingspan. And what this does is the 80 layup, you can get dominant like the dominant big man layup package and that layup package I'm going to put it on the screen right here it literally just bullies the like littler guards or even big men I think it just bullies them and pushes them out the way so yeah that's like <laughs> it's just OP bro it's really OP but yeah, we're going to go with this max wingspan post scoring takeover. If you don't want it to be a pure post scoring build, just put brim protector so you can get the boost to your defense. Because you already see it's not that OP. But I'm going to go with post scoring takeover because this is the team oriented post scoring build. And you can see you got interior finisher, Amari Stoudemire, Blake Griffin, John Collins, and to test the build I'm gonna show y'all the badges real quick that you want to run on it because I tested it out and and even if you I'm, I'm gonna use this build in an upcoming video I just wanted to say that cuz I'm gonna make a, a 60 overall post score it's not gonna be a 60 but it's gonna be a 60 and under like a 60 or 70 overall post score goes to the park because you can see I have a 71 standing dunk and a 64 post hook and that's really all you need but I'm gonna just go ahead and show y'all the badges real quick Shooting badges, off rip, deep fades, and hot zone hunter, and dead eye. To me, if you have like, like if you're trying to do fades or something, then it's really good. 
but also if you don't want like hot zone hunter or if you don't want dead eye you can just put it right back on um on hot zone hunter because then you'll be able to shoot way much like way better as a matter of fact yeah i'm gonna leave it like that finishing badges i'm gonna do the finishing badges last playmaking badges you want to go purse spin technician quick first step dream shake and pass fake maestro and then downhill and unpluckable i run this like this because i'm 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 a team oriented player so if i want to have like if i try to pass fake to somebody then i'm gonna pass fake to one dude that's driving into the paint and then kick it out to the corner because everyone's gonna collapse in to try and block the dude in the paint so they're collapsing in on him pump fake dime to the guy in the corner i can't get dimer but i can get the rest of these badges and post spin technician you need that dream shake you need that because if you try and j if you pump fake and they jump then you'll be able to just put it right back on a slam on them <clears throat> but defensive badges you only have 10 which is kind of mediocre on a a big man build but for this build all you need is 10 honestly it's just gold worm rebound chaser on silver rim protector on silver box on silver and i would go moving truck on bronze honestly this is the the setup i would run for like comp games but if i were to run like uh 1v1 because i know most post scorers they just run straight to the 1v1 court and just back people down and post hook post hook post hook all you want to do for the 1v1 court rebound chaser worm box and where is it rim protector because if you can box somebody out then it's game over if you can get past their box out then it's game over but now for the finishing badges contact finisher hall of fame relentless finisher put back boss giant slayer on bronze back down punisher drop stepper slithery lob city deep hooks this will be my bad setup right here and if you were a legend and you had 40 badges you could put on hall of fame relentless hall of fame slithery hall of fame lob hall of fame showtime hall of fame consistent finisher and hall of fame acrobat i think no bronze acrobat i think because that would just be op like that bad setup would be op you got all these hall of fame finishing badges no one's gonna be able to stop you and honestly i think the best jump shot is tim duncan for bigs i don't know for like non-shooting bigs i think it is because like the post fades i know he did a lot of post fades it's him and dirk and larry bird because larry bird could just shoot but this isn't a shooting build so i would say tim duncan dirk nowiski because of fades but i'm gonna just go with tim duncan but that's gonna be it for this video y'all don't forget to drop a like comment and subscribe this your boy low chill peace man